Today, these two teams compete to advance in this academic tournament. It's Bishop Knoll and Crown Point, and it's coming up on Making the Grade. For over 30 years, Chester Information Technologies has assisted school administration and faculty with technology needs to better help their students make the grade. More information at chesterinc.com. Welcome to season four of Making the Grade. I'm your host, Tavis Buchan. This is the academic tournament where these two area schools and their students compete for the bragging rights, the trophies, and the scholarship money from NIPSCO. You guys ready for Making the Grade? Yeah, we got a good crowd here as well. Good, good. So we're gonna, we're gonna meet each of our students here momentarily, but let's try to get some points on the, on the board. We're gonna start with round one. This is question and answer. Question and answer, just like it sounds, I ask the question, you attempt to answer by buzzing in. If you get it incorrect, it goes over to the other side for a chance to counter. Let's begin. How many theses did religious reformer Martin Luther create and nail to a church Antonio in Crown, from Crown Point? Uh, 95. 95 is correct. Yes, Crown Point, you are first on the board. We continue. Many words in this category end in mente in Spanish. Name this part of speech created in English by adding the letters L-Y to the end of words like Nicholas from Bishop Knoll. Adverb. Adverb, yes. Adverbs is correct. <laughs> We're both on the board and we continue. Banana. Mexican long-nosed and red fruit are all endangered species of what North American mammal? Banana, Mexican long-nosed and red fruit species. Oh, you got in just before the buzzer, Eric from Crown Point. Is it a mole? It is not a mole, you got in quick. So we do have a chance to counter here, Bishop Noel. You wanna guess? You're on the clock, buzz in if you'd like to guess. And Michael from Bishop Knoll. Uh, toucan? Not a toucan. It would be a bat. Oh. All right. We've learned something, right? <laughs> All right, we continue. Take your right hand, raise your index figure, finger, stick your thumb out to the side, and keep the rest of your fingers down. What letter of sign language alphabet? Michael from Bishop Knoll. Uh, L. L is correct, yes. <laughs> All right. Let's continue. Name the Russian composer of the ballet's Sleeping Beauty, Swan Lake, Nicholas from Bishop Knoll. Pyotr Ilyich Tchaikovsky. Wow, yeah, that's correct. Tchaikovsky, yep. All right, moving on. What word starting with G is a place where you might grow carrots, radishes, strawberries? Michael from Bishop Knoll. Let's see, garden? Garden is correct, yes. Garden starts with G. Give the two-word name for the set of 1960s legislation signed by Lyndon Johnson that expanded the federal government in a vain attempt to eliminate all poverty in America. It's a two-word name for this legislation. Buzz in if you have a guess. Time is up. Great society. Great society. Does that sound familiar? That's right. We move on. The adjective poignant usually means touching, as in a poignant moment where an athlete wins a championship and his dying mother gives him a hug. Spell the word poignant. Nicholas from Bishop Knoll. P-O-I-G-N-A-N-T. Poignant, yes, that is correct. <laughs> All right, we've got a game here. Still plenty of time left. The first of his space flights was three years before his more famous one aboard Apollo 11. Identify this astronaut who said that's one small step for Eric from Crown Point. Neil Armstrong. Neil Armstrong is correct, yes. <laughs> it's a narrow body of water between two larger bodies of water. Give this geographic term whose English one connects the North Sea with the Atlantic Ocean. 
What is that? Alyssa from Bishop Knoll. Channel. Could you repeat it a little louder? A channel. Channel is correct, yes. <laughs> this will be our last question of round one question and answer. Its popularity in photography has gone way down since people started using digital cameras. Name this precious metal that is the color of a quarter and a dime. Nicholas from Bishop Knoll. Silver? Silver is correct, Nicholas, yes. And that ends round one. We've got a score of Bishop Knoll leading 35 to 10. Lots of game left, but let's go ahead and take a break from it and let's meet the class. All right, I'm going to start with Bishop Knoll. Great job so far, guys. We're going to start with Nicholas. Nicholas, you are a senior. Nicholas, you, I heard you fell 30 feet last summer. Was it into a pool, I hope? No, it was actually to the ground. I was working at a scout camp and running the zip line and went down and something went wrong. Still don't know quite what it was. So I ended up on the ground, went to the hospital, had heart and arm surgery. Well, you look great. Thank you, thank you. Whoa! All right, Michael, you're a senior. Michael, you are, you, you've got it planned out. What are you doing after high school? Uh, pretty much uh, joining the US Navy. Joining the Navy, that is very honorable, right? Yeah, cool. Thank you. Way to go, man, thank you. way to go. All right, we have Emmanuel, you are a senior. You're in a band. I am. What instrument do you play? Uh, I play guitar and I sing. All right, so guitar and vocals of what band? Uh, we're a band called Detour North. All right, where do you play around um, the area? We play lots of venues in Chicago primarily, pretty All much. All right, yep. excellent. And we have Alyssa. Alyssa, you are a junior. You like to knit and crochet. Yeah. So what kind of things do you knit and crochet? Mostly like scarves and hats. Infinity scarves are really popular right now, so I actually get people asking me to make them for them. So I need an infinity me. scarf. <laughs> I need one. Those are in. All right, thanks so much to Bishop Noel. Dave Tataku is their coach. Let's move on and meet Crown Point. Nice job so far, guys. And we've got Justin. Justin, you like trying new things. Oh, yeah. Like what? What do you like what, trying? Uh, usually different weird foods. That weird most foods? Most people wouldn't normally try. Okay, what have you, what's the most unique thing you've tried recently? Um, not very recently, but last summer I had a fish eyeball. Fish eyeball. Pretty good. Would you recommend it? Okay, you would. Yeah, okay. Would <laughs> All right, Antonio, you like playing airsoft and paintball. What's yeah. the difference? Uh, airsoft uh, use, utilizes uh, smaller pellets and not paint. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. All right, and we've got Eric. Eric, you are a junior, and Eric, you hate cheese. I hope cheese is not a category later on. Now, what do you replace with cheese on your sandwich? I just pull it out. Okay. <laughs> Julia, you are a junior, and you're all the way up to black belts? Yeah. If I were to bring a board out here, could you break it? Totally. Yeah, what yeah, about a cinder block? Less so. Okay, less so. I, Still, I'm I impressed. keep going at it. But. All right. Vince Bowders is the coach for Crown Point. All right. Nice to meet you guys. Let's continue. Now it is class project. Much like question and answer, this is where I will ask a question. You try to answer it, but it's one at a time. You wait your turn. We are going to go down the line. All right. So it's Julia and Alyssa, Emmanuel and Eric, Antonio and Michael, Nicholas and Justin. Let's continue. It contains a 30 foot tree stump called the Old Man of the Lake. Name the deepest lake in the United States, famed for its clear blue water and located in Klamath County, Oregon. What is the name of that lake? Buzz in Julia or Alyssa and Julia from Crown Point. Is it Lake Placid? Not Lake Placid, no. Alyssa, you do have a chance to counter if you'd like to take a guess. There are no penalties for wrong answers. Buzz in, oh, no, you gotta buzz in if you wanna guess. That's okay, we'll move on. Eric and Emmanuel, to eat them fresh, oh, I should answer, Crater Lake. Crater Lake was wow. the answer, okay? But we'll move on to the next question. To eat them fresh, you typically have to remove their stems and eat around a little stone, a little pit in the middle. Name this popular but expensive dark red fruit. Eric from Crown Point. Plum? Not a plum. You have a chance to counter, Emmanuel. Buzz in if you think you, no. Don't even want to take a guess? All right, we are going to move on. That would be cherry. 
via cherry, oh, okay? <laughs> Antonio and Michael. Well, that makes sense. Though Ben Franklin developed bifocals and electricity, the children's story, Ben and Me, claims that Franklin had help. Identify the literary mouse who claims to have helped Franklin, a mouse who shares his name with an Old Testament prophet. And Antonio from Crown Point. Uh, Moses. Not Moses. <laughs> Michael, you have a chance to counter. Buzz in if you want to guess. Michael from Bishop Knoll. Abraham? Not Abraham. It would be Amos. Ooh. All right, Amos. Nicholas and Justin, you're up. Often made in bright colors, what substance is defined by New York's Museum of Modern Art as chalky colored powder, which is modeled into a stick or a crayon for use as a drawing material? Nicholas from Bishop Knoll. Wax? Not wax. <laughs> you have a chance to counter, Justin. Buzz in if you want to guess. You're not quite sure, no guess? <laughs> pastel, pastel, okay? We're back up. Alyssa and Julia, redemption could be yours. <laughs> he became the youngest member of the Soviet Politburo and began the ideas of perestroika and glasnost. Name this noble laureate and last leader of the old Soviet Union when it dissolved in 1991. Name this Nobel laureate and last leader of the old Soviet Union when it dissolved in 1991. Um. No talking amongst yourselves. <laughs> it would be Mikhail Gorbachev, Mikhail Gorbachev, okay? Let's move on, Eric and Emmanuel. The second floor of its mansion contains a Lafayette room where the Marquis de Lafayette stayed on several occasions. Name this Northern Virginia estate the final resting place of George Washington. Final resting place. Eric from Crown Point. Mount Vernon. Mount Vernon is correct, yes. Here is the last question here of uh, this round. We have Antonio and Michael. Fill in this three-word phrase from the Boy Scout Oath. <laughs> to do my duty to God, blank, blank, blank. To do my duty to God, Michael from Bishop Knoll. Is to myself. Not is to myself. Antonio, you do have a chance to counter. Blank, blank, blank. Antonio from Crown Point, you've buzzed in. And my country. And my country, yeah. All right, so Crown Point pulls it out. Late here, we've got a game. We have uh, Bishop Knoll leading right now, 35 to 20. Lots of time left. You can really rack up the points in this next round. It is the quiz. All right, let's move on to the pop quiz. This is where... You can get friendly, all right? Get together, use your teamwork skills. You can talk amongst yourselves. We have three categories. We have social studies, science and math, and we have literature and language arts. We're gonna start with the hardest clue to the answer first. If you don't get it correct, we'll move on to another easier clue for less points. Let's begin. Social studies for 30 points. The mountain it is named for has three peaks at less than 1,000 feet above sea level, including West Mount Summit. Feel free to get together. Talk amongst yourselves. Make plans for the weekend. All right, that is time. That's okay. We're going to move on to another clue. Built where the St. Lawrence and Ottawa rivers meet, it hosted both Expo 67 and the 1976 Summer Olympics. Feel free to talk amongst you. Justin from Crown Point. Uh, was it Montreal? Montreal, yes. <laughs> All right, for 20 points. So we are done with social studies. We're going to move on to science and math for, thir for 30 points, for 30 points. In computer science, its lowercase version represents a string whose length is zero. In astronomy, its capital version represents the cosmological cons constant. In computer science, its lowercase version represents a string whose length is zero. In astronomy, its capital version represents the cosmological constant. All right, Nicholas from Bishop Knoll, you have a guess. Would that be C? It would not be C. You have a chance to counter. You're on the clock. Would have to buzz in if you want to guess. Mm. Oh, Antonio, you got in. Do you have a guess? Uh, K. Not K. Not K. All right, we're going to move on for 20 points. Interesting. In math, 
it represents an eigenvalue. In math, it represents an eigenvalue. All right, Emmanuel from Bishop Knoll. E? Not E. You got a chance to counter Crown Point. Justin from Crown Point. And is it I? It is not I. All right, we're going to move on for 10 points. Identify this Greek letter used in physics to represent both a radioactivity decay constant and a wavelength. Nicholas from Bishop Knoll. Mu? Not mu. You have a chance to counter Justin from Crown Point. Is it lambda? Lambda, oh, yes. Nice. You got it for so 10 good. points. And we're done with science and math. We're going to move on. Literature, language, arts. Until we're timed out for 30 points here. The main characters of uh, Milan Kundera's The Unbearable Lightness of Being name their female dog for its title character's husband. For 30 points. No one familiar? Nicholas from Bishop Knoll. Arturo. Not Arturo. <laughs> All right. Looks like we're still going for 20 points here. Count Vronsky's attempts to seduce Kitty before going to Italy with its title character, which was his mistress, and their illegitimate daughter, Annie. This will be your last shot, so take a guess. I'm going to time this round out. All right, that is time. What we are doing is looking for Anna Karenina. Oh. Anna Karenina. All right, that's okay. All right, we're going to go on to the next round, which is the final round, which is final exam. All right, you're going to see the categories up on the monitors in front of you. You can go ahead and uh, talk amongst yourselves as you pick your category, but then once I ask the question, no more talking amongst yourselves. Bishop Knoll, you trail, so you have first control of the board. <laughs> what would you like? I don't care. Words. We'll go words. Words. Okay, we're going with words for 10 points. No more talking amongst yourselves. This five-letter Sanskrit word used in Hinduism can be considered good or bad depending on how you treat other people. Nicholas from Bishop Knoll. Karma? Karma is correct. Yes, you retain control of the board. Would you like to continue with words? Or would you like to switch it up? Sure. Words. Let's continue with words for 15 points now. This term describes both a place where a newspaper keeps its historical material and a place for dead bodies. Emmanuel from Bishop Knoll. Mausoleum? Not mausoleum. You have a chance to counter Antonio from Crown Point. Um, Morg is correct. You have control of the board now, Crown Point. What would you like? Uh, Asian geography. Asian geography now for 10 points. The Singapore Strait separates Singapore from the northern islands of this nation whose capital is Jakarta. Nicholas from Bishop Knoll. Indonesia. Indonesia is correct for 10 points. You regain control of the board. What would you like? Would you like to continue? Economics. Economics. Switching it up now to economics for 10 points. When a stock is sold at a profit, this is the term for the difference between the net sale price and the net cost. What is that term? Michael from Bishop Knoll. Profit? Not profit. Crown Point, you have a chance to counter for 10 points. Any guess? You're on the clock. Ooh, I'm gonna have to go to the judges. Did Antonio get in? All right, you got in on time. Any guess? Uh, dividend. Not dividend, it would be capital gains. Oh. Capital gains, okay? That question is gone. You guys still have control of the board, Bishop Knoll. You wanna stick with economics? You wanna switch it up? What do you want? Okay. Art. Sure, let's go okay. art. Okay, art. we're switching it up. You guys are keeping me busy. Art for 10 points. Andre Duranz's free use of color and distorted forms in his art earned him this name from the French for wild beasts that also describes the works of Henri Matisse. Andre Duran's free use of color and distorted forms in this art, Justin from Crown Point. Is it Fav? Yes, it is Fav. Oh. Yes, all right, you have control of the board. Asian geography. Asian geography. Yeah. Back to Asian <laughs> geography now for 15 points. 
The part of the Mekong River between Laos and Vietnam goes through this country that was nearly destroyed in the 1970s by its communist Khmer Justin from Crown Point. Cambodia. Cambodia, it, Cambodia is correct for 15 points. You have control of the board. Would you like to continue with Asian geography? Yeah. Okay, for 20 points. Indonesia, Brunei, and Malaysia are all part of this Asian island. Justin from Crown Point. Uh, Borneo. Borneo is correct for 20 points. Yes. <laughs> Crown Point in the lead. Would you like to continue? Yeah. Asian geography for 25 points. The cities Nagasaki and Kagoshima are both located on this southernmost main island of Japan. Nicholas from Bishop Knoll. Honshu. Not Honshu. You have a chance to counter Crown Point buzz in. Justin from Crown Point. Is it Kyushu? Kyushu is correct for 25 points. Would you like to finish the board? Sure. sure. All right, Asian geography for 30 points. The British built a road through it more than 2,000 years after Alexander the Great used it to get to India. Name this feature of the Hindu Kush Mountains, long used as a trade route that connects Michael from Bishop Knoll. Is it the Silk Road? It is not. It is not. I can finish the question. Name this feature of the Hindu Kush Mountains, long used as a trade route that connects Pakistan to Afghanistan. And Justin from Crown Point. Is it the Khyber Pass? Khyber Pass is correct for 30 points. We're done with Asian geography. You have control of the board. What would you like? Astronomy. Astronomy now for 10 points. The Doppler effect studied in physics with respect to sound is also noticed with light. As a light source gets closer to an observer, the light is said to undergo this color of shift. Nicholas from Bishop Knoll. Blue shifting? Blue shift is correct for 10 points. Now you have control of the board. What would you like? I think we should go with words. Sure. Words. words. We're back to words. All right, we are back to, am I hearing words? Yes. words? We're back to words now for 20 points. This word describes the act a king performs when he deliberately gives up his throne. Nicholas from Bishop Knoll. Oh, abdication. Could you repeat that? Abdication? Yeah, that's right, he abdicates. <laughs> All right, you wanna go with words for 25 or Good. switch it up? Words. Okay. words. All right, words for 25. Give the most common meaning of the Greek root pod found in the English word podiatrist. Foot. Julia from Crown Point. Foot. Foot, <laughs> yeah, that's foot. All right, you have control of the board now, Crown Point. What would you like? You can finish words for 30, you can move on. Um, astronomy. Astronomy, all right, we're back to astronomy for 15 now, students. Whenever a new asteroid is found, it is given a provisional name that includes four digits signifying this. Antonio from Crown Point. Uh, date? No, date is not correct. We've got about two minutes left in the game. Nicholas from Bishop Knoll. Proximity to the sun? No, it would be the year it was found. Looking for more specific, the year it was found. And you still have control of the board, crown point, since no one got it right. Would you like to stick with astronomy? Um, okay, places in the news. Places in the news. Looking for places in the news for 10 points now. This Civil War battle's 150th anniversary was marked Justin from Crown Point. Uh, Gettysburg. Gettysburg is correct for 10 points. You have control of the board. Would you like to stick with places in the news? Yeah, yeah places. Okay, places in the news. Sticking with places in the news. For 15 points, this state's massive Yarnell Hill wildfire killed 19 members of the Granite Mountain Hotshots fighting team. Firefighting team, I should say. Nicholas from Bishop Knoll. Arizona. Arizona is correct for 15 <laughs> points. Bishop Knoll, you have control of the board. Words. 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 <laughs> Back to words now for 30. We've got one minute left for 30 points. This two word French literary term describes a funny remark or one liner. This two word French literary term describes a funny remark or one liner. Nicholas from Bishop Knoll. Faux pas. Could you repeat that louder? Faux pas. Not faux pas. Good guess. You have a chance to counter crown point. Any guess? 
You guys are running out the clock, aren't you? <laughs> bon moi, bon mal, bon, it's French. <laughs> All right, we're done with that category, and we're running out of time here. You still have control of the board, Bishop Noel. Places, Places in the news. news. Places in the news for 20 points. August 28, 2013 marked the 50th anniversary of the major civil rights march on this U.S. city. Nicholas from Bishop Knoll. Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. for 20 points. Yes, would you like to continue? Yes. This is the last question. Yes. For 25 points, this state's counties of Weld, Logan, and Kit Carson voted on an, an initiative to secede and form a 51st state. I'm looking for the state. This state's county. Nicholas from Bishop Knoll. California? Not California. You could count if you want Antonio from Crown Point. Illinois. Not Illinois. It would be Colorado. And that is the end of the final exam and the game. Good job. That was a fun game there. We do have Crown Point advancing to the next round. Thanks so much to Bishop Noel. Hope everyone had fun. And we'll see you next time on Making the Grade. For over 30 years, Chester Information Technologies has assisted school administration and faculty with technology needs to better help their students make the grade. More information at chesterinc.com.